Let's do some poses today to boost metabolism. I'm Carmen Cooper. You can find me at CarmenCooperYoga.com. We're standing here in Mountain, the foundation of all the standing poses. Keep yourself safe. If you need to modify any of these poses or take a pass and just not do any of them, feel free to do so. Hands in Namaste. Tap the center of your chest to keep your thymus gland awake and active during these winter months. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see the angle of my body better. As you inhale, raise the arms, stretch straight up for upward salute. Stand as tall as you possibly can. Only if you want to, as you inhale, bend back for standing backward bend. Only do this one if your back is strong and healthy. As you exhale, come back up and fold forward. You may want to keep a baby bend in your knees here. Place your fingers underneath your feet. This forward fold is called Gorilla. Breathe easily as you hold this inversion. Something very healthy about turning the body upside down every day. Inhale as you come up into chair or Utkatasana. Some people call it lightning bolt because the body looks like a lightning bolt. Only if you want to, you can take a twist in this to the side. Twists tend to boost our metabolism a little more. This pose fires up your big quadricep muscles, which helps raise your metabolism. Twist the other way. Only do the twists if you want to. Back to center. Release. Separate your feet a little bit as we come into squat or malasana or garland pose to stretch out the low back. If you're up on your toes, you may want to put your hands down on the floor in front of you to help maintain balance. Only if you want to come up a little bit, wrap your arms around your legs, placing your hands on top of your feet for tail wagger or kanjanasana. Bobbing your rear end up and down. Come back to standing. Separate your feet. Feet turned out about 45 inches for goddess. Bend your knees. You may want to move around a little bit, bob up and down, shake your shoulders around a little bit to get a little more energy and movement into the pose. Straighten your knees, turn your feet forward as we go into sumo squats. Hand goes to the floor as you come up, pull your belly in. 
Try to bring yourself up with your abdominal muscles as much as you can. Rely on your abdominal muscles more so than you do your legs to come up to standing. These are energizing. Do just as many as is appropriate for your body today. I like to keep these going for a while myself. Keep these going as long as it feels good. Remember to come up with your abdominal muscles as much as you possibly can. Now get ready for wide-legged standing forward fold. Get out into a wide stance, feet facing forward. Inhale, get tall. Always get tall before you fall forward. Float down to your perfect point of stretch and challenge. Let your head hang free. Only if you want to, you can put your forearms on the floor. Then the top of your head goes down on the floor. If that is not appropriate for you, just let your head continue to hang free. Breathe and enjoy the inversion. This reverses the pull of gravity on your heart and gives it a break. For as long as you're in this, your heart is pumping with gravity instead of against it. Only stay as long as as appropriate for your body when you're ready to come up, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes. Then walk your hands up your legs as you inhale and come up. If you don't have a martial arts background, just do warrior here. I like to do these punches and kicks because it spikes up my metabolism and energizes my body, left foot in front, hands in fists, punch, punch, kick, step. You don't have to kick that high. Punch, punch, kick, step. I usually do these outside so I don't have to turn so much. Punch, punch, kick, step, punch, punch, kick, step punch punch kick step punch punch kick step punch punch kick step punch punch kick step Punch, punch, kick, step. Punch, punch, kick, step. Now let's get ready for meditation. Choose your comfortable position. You can sit in a chair. Use a seated meditation pose on the floor or you can lie down. If you choose to lie down and you're more comfortable with your knees bent and your feet flat, that's fine. Or you can extend both legs and use the traditional Shavasana pose.
Let's do a focused relaxation exercise. Relax muscular tension and release any fatigue or strain, both physical and mental. If you need to adjust your position at any time to remain comfortable, feel free to do so. Close your eyes or soften your gaze and breathe gently through your nostrils, smoothly and deeply. Let the breath flow comfortably and easily without exertion. The inhalation feels cool as your belly gently rises. Then the exhalation feels warm as your belly slightly sinks. Now remind yourself, I empower my body to unleash its limitless capacity for healing on anything that threatens my physical, emotional, or mental health. Relax the top of your head, the back of your head, your forehead, eyebrows, space between the eyebrows, eyes, eyelids, cheeks, and nose. Keep breathing softly. Pay special attention to your jaw. If you need to open your mouth and move your lower jaw slowly and gently from side to side a few times to coax the jaw muscles to relax, please do so. Sometimes a lot of tension accumulates in the jaw. Allow your jaw to release and expand into relaxation. Relax the back of your neck, your throat, the tops of your shoulders, the backs of your shoulders, your upper back and your chest. Keep breathing softly and comfortably. Relax your upper arms, lower arms, wrists, hands, fingers and fingertips. Relax your belly, low back, hips, thighs, knees, calves, ankles, feet, and toes. As you inhale, breathe in strength, vitality, peace, and relaxation. As you exhale, expel all your tension, worries, and anxieties. You can even extend your exhalation longer than your inhalation. Inhale and exhale 
with these intentions again and again. Relax your toes, feet, ankles, calves, knees, thighs, hips, low back, belly, and chest. Continue breathing out all stress and inhaling perfect acceptance, perfect support, and perfect health. Again, affirm to your body, I empower my body to unleash its limitless capacity for healing on anything that threatens my physical, emotional, or mental health. Relax the back of your shoulders, upper back, upper arms, lower arms, wrists, hands, fingers, and fingertips. Relax the whole body. Relax the whole body. See how effortless you can be. Again, notice the calm and serene flow of your breath. Stay here for another minute. Slowly and gently open your eyes. Stretch in any way that feels good. Try to keep this calm, spacious, peaceful feeling for the rest of the day. I have a meditation course coming out soon that has a sampling of guided meditations like this one. I'll let you know when it launches. I'm Carmen Cooper, CarmenCooperYoga.com. I appreciate you tuning in. Scoop it all up. Keep it with you. Namaste.